Hell of a set for you guys right here. We are running it into town and city Again. for the first game. <laughs> Wonton Warrior and Stir the Kid going up against Team House of 3000, Dill and Ralphie. Yeah. Let's kick it, Gordon. Yeah. Now, the one thing I will say from Green Team is that they have uh, they have a lot more explosive power. Like with Lil Mac with his KO punch, his nets with like up air, back air, like back throw by the ledge. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they're not going to have any problems getting any kills, but it's just I feel like they're going to have a lot of problems trying to win neutral and like getting out of a disadvantaged state and helping each other. Mm, yeah. If I were the green team, one central strategy I would be focusing on is trying to kill Dill specifically as early as I possibly can because he uh, he is the lightest. Uh, he is lighter than... Uh, Sheik is lighter than Cloud, you know? And like with the explosive power that the green team has, like you were saying before, it should be a little bit easier for them to be yeah. able to uh, to uh, be able to get rid of him yeah. first, and that uh, that might be their best way to like uh, dwindle blue team stocks as quickly as they can. Oh! Ooh, as the tail punch is removed and he gets confirmed into the oh gets confirmed into the down B from the from Cloud right there. I didn't even get the chance to say what I was originally going to. I was just gonna okay. talk about how KO punch was on deck. Yeah, but before that even happened, Walton was dead. Yeah, I wanted to say like they kinda need like every KO punch they can get. Mm. But I don't think he's gonna take the first stock off of Blue Team. Yep. And uh, it's looking like a fairly even game for these guys right here, both in percents and stocks. Yeah, it is. Yeah, nice job from Ralphie avoiding the, the grab there from Ness. Green team got kind of sandwiched there. There was really no, uh, there really weren't too many places where Stir the Kid. <gasps> oh, that up B was super clutch. No, I can't even like explain to you guys about Wonton, man. The thing with this guy, both in singles and in dubs, he is a master of capitalizing on opportunities whenever he sees them. He understands the limitations of his character, and he plays in the, he plays oh, in such a way that he plays according uh, to his character's limitations. You know what I'm saying? He plays very, very patient, and whenever you uh, whenever you misspace anything, whenever your microspacing is just a little off, and in double specifically, whenever you're in a place where you are not supposed to be, you best believe what? that Wonton oh, Warrior okay. will find some way to All capitalize right. on it. So I think Nez hit Wonton with um, his up air, and then Sheik grabbed him, so like the lightning showed up, but like he just got in Sheik's grab and just got thrown off stage. Oh, that's incredible. That's actually kind oh, of amazing. Wonton was kind of just charging a neutral B. Uh, in center stage right I there. I think he wanted risky. to break um, Sheik's shield. Yeah. Which Wonton. would have been really good because Nets probably could have just charged an F smash or something. He got his KO punch off of that up right there. KO punch is no longer on deck, actually. He gets yeah. uh, F tilted off of him as, in there. as he then gets fared off stage for his troubles. Wonton already down to his last stock with a uh, deficit for the green team. Yeah, But hey, both, both members of blue team are in um, kill percent. So I feel like one smash attack from Little Mac is going to take the stock from both of them. Mm. Or th there you go. Uh, that's a lot. That's like the like third or fourth up B kill oh, Wonton has gotten oh, this game. Yeah, no, Wonton's really good at that. Yeah, he's really good at capitalizing on that. That is a uh, that is a move that comes out in uh, with invincible frames on frame three. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, little Max up B is definitely not a move to be trifled, but the kills very early yeah. and uh, the invincibility comes out incredibly oh, early as well. Oh, and the nice, big brain. Yeah, that was a nice play. Uh, Ralphie trying to jump out of shield to get out of that pressure situation, but Ness was there or Sir was there for the up air. He got the kill. Mm. Oh, nice combo from Green Team. Ooh, this is going to be a back throw. No, this, this game is actually kind of even. I, uh, if we it kind of is. If, if Mac can get a KO punch. Oh! oh! Like that. <laughs> okay. That just is a commentator's curse right when you say it. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, and that's a lead for the Green Team all yeah. of a sudden with so, uh, Ralphie out of the picture. What I think Green Team's plan should be is Ness should try to win neutral with Sheik and then throw to Wontong to get damage. Like... He just up smashed yeah. the hell out Basically, of Basically, Wandong should always be in center stage to try to avoid getting gimped. Yeah. And Ness should be like fighting Sheik one on one. And yeah. if Sheik, like, and Max should try to whip punish any of Sheik's moves. Yeah, and they're kind of doing it the other way around right now for the most part. But it looks like they uh, switched position oh, right here. And wow. the dash attack, the weak hit of the dash attack actually into Little Max, uh, up into Little Max up smash. That was crazy with a clean game one yeah. for the green team. Let's see a replay of this right here. You see the side B right there, and Little Mac's gonna get launched a little back here. He's just gonna stand back, oh. wait for Cloud to get launched into him. That was Sheik's fair. That was Dill's fair that killed him. Oh man. And we're gonna see the dash attack again right now. Yep. I like the up the auto cancel up airs from Sir just trying to threaten Sheik. It was just uh, the first hit, the first hit or so of like uh, Ness's dash attack actually yeah. that put uh, that put Dill into that position. Oh, for we're the, seeing uh, a for the up smash. A control change from. Don't tell me Wonton had wrong controls. I mean, because, like, it's just such a Wonton thing for him <laughs> to have wrong controls for a whole game and still bother you. Wow. That's actually kind of funny. Now, this, is like a, this is like in Naruto where Rock Lee took off the weights. Yeah. And, like, now he's like, all right, now I'm really ready to play. <laughs> he doesn't have any other characters from my... I think... Doesn't he dabble with Mega Man? 
I, I've literally only seen Wan Tong in tournament ever play Mac. Mm, I actually can't even say that I remember, so I can't really confirm that. But I've only ever really seen him play Mac myself. And it looks like we are. Uh, looks like the blue team is switching over to the uh, switching over to Diddy Kong. Dill switching to his other character. Maybe he feels like that'll be better in this situation with a with a banana in play. Maybe he'll be uh, he'll be able to trip these guys more often and work around their uh, work around their explosive uh, their explosive uh, KO power. Yeah, the one. I will, he has to be careful not to let like the green team get a like, hold of banana. And Ness can like uh, jump cancel, throw the banana and get a grab off of that. And I'm pretty sure Little Mac can do something like that and like maybe in the KO punch. Oh, of course. Or, like yeah, one of his he, smash attacks. If he has KO punch, then he can yeah. definitely confirm a banana in the KO punch very easily. Yeah. Ooh, he's got stir off stage here. Oh, I like, I like Dill went over to try to help his teammate. Oh, and I think Little Mac. Oh, oh no, he good. made it back. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. Wonton understands, like I said earlier, he understands the limitations of his character very, very well. He'll be DIing things towards the stage in the right situations to make it back to stage. He'll air dodge at the perfect right times. He'll whip out the uppie at the perfect right times. He'll always Ooh, watch wow. wherever you're going to make sure he gets back. If you have a uh, Wonton off stage, unlike most Max, he's it's definitely not like a it's definitely not a guaranteed stock a lot of the times. So. Oh, did you see that tech? And he never misses his yeah, tech either. That's uh, another thing I, I forgot to say. I remember that from watching that. Yeah. I mean, little Mac, you kind of have to like every opportunity. Wow. Every opportunity you get as Mac to like survive, you need to take that. Mm, as they uh, as they take the lead decisively right there with that up smash. Like I said, understands the, lim uh, the limitations of his character perfectly and works around them. Play who you want to play, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And the blue team is now at a deficit. There's a lot of rage on these guys right here. If we just get like uh, if we just get like maybe 30 or like uh, 40 more percent on these guys. Uh, ooh, never mind. As that up smash does uh, eliminate uh, uh, Stir the Kids uh, first and stock and wontons afterwards with that up air. Good stuff to, uh, good, uh, awareness from Ralphie, sneaking that one in. Oh, wow. All right. Um, sort of both, both teams are trying to feel each other out again. Yeah. This is, like I said, this is what I like to call the cluster ball. Yeah. When, like, nobody has, like, any stage control. It's an even game. Like, nothing's, like, uh, it's just like a... Cluster ball is not what I want to say. It's the eSports version. But, yeah. You know. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know what I mean. Oh, oh and that's a broken shield. No, that should be. That's a definitely a wow. dead deal. Are you kidding? With a fully charged, strong uh, hook hit yeah. of the Mac up now, smash. We're in a green team. Oh, okay. Green oh. team is in like a similar position, except Wontong has like 30% as before. Like they were both at high percent. Like when they lost their first stock, mm. or they took the first stock. And this is looking really, really good for the green team already, man. This is a decisive lead as the KO oh, punch is yeah, now both back on deck. Are in KO punch percent. Yeah, and especially oh. if he gets the banana. Oh, he's... Oh, that's a scary thing. It's like watching Jaws, dude. It's like... Duh, duh. Oh, my God. But the whole limit break. Oh, goodness me. Yeah. Oh, I knew this was going to be a crazy set. Yeah, this is this is actually a super crazy set. Mm. Uh, Ralphie actually electing to go for a back air right there instead of an up air to try and juggle Mac. I mean, that's, that's actually oh. kind of a questionable decision. And he loses his stock yeah, because of Ralphie, it, too. Ralphie trying to punish that F smash out of shield with, um, with the down smash. Oh, that could, I think that might have been it too. It's a little that too high. But like they have they have three socks to work with, so like they didn't need that confirmed. Yeah. And what? Yeah, Wonton still has uh two of his two of his stocks left, so it's uh this is definitely gonna be an Ooh. uphill battle for Dill, and that oh. is going to wow. do it for game number two. Okay. So the so one the reason why Ralphie lost his last stock there is because he tried to punish uh, Ralph, uh, Low Max Four Smash with Down Smash out of Shield. The thing with most of Max moves is that they're usually safe because of how far like the move the shield pushes you back. But in terms of frame data, if you have the range, you can usually punish that. So like I feel like maybe a down tilt would have been better out of Shield. The worst thing you can do if Low Max like faces his move on your shield is to try to shield grab because then he'll just do another move and then you'll get hit basically yeah i feel like that's something a lot of players struggle with against little mac is like what happened what do i do when he hits my shield and i can't grab it yeah well that's, uh, anyway we're going to smashville um that's uh that's singles against mac and singles mac is definitely an entirely different beast but anyway yeah, yeah we're here on smashville for uh game number three yeah, the no. horizontal blast zones a little smaller on this one, but the vertical ones, a yeah. little bigger. And the stage length is also a little, um, a little. It's definitely uh, more narrow than Sma uh, Town and City. Yeah. So, so I, um, I feel like that might benefit the blue team a little bit more because they're gonna get more chances to get both characters off stage. Like yeah. there's less center stage for them to feel safe in. Yeah, they'll and be able to kill off the side a lot better. And that's kind of what blue team like needs to do more. It's like I'm not seeing them get like the early gimps on Ness or Little Mac. Both are living like super high percentages. Yeah. 
And it's definitely going to be easier to uh, a little easier to gimp Little Mac on the stage, and definitely a little yeah. easier to camp him out if they potentially get a uh, wanton in the 2v1 because he uh, definitely struggles to get on and uh, do anything with the Smash Bill platform. Yeah. But the thing is, though, with Ness, I mean, with the kill power, it should be uh, he should yeah. be able to kill off the sides even yeah, earlier. Ness, Ness is fourth though, can kill off the side of the Smash Bill platform at like zero. With that base knockback. Yeah. Yeah. Also, but one thing, Wontong's actually good on this stage in the sense that you can like down air right before, out of a full, uh, full hop right before you land on the platform. And you will land on it, so he can keep his double jump in that scenario. Right. Wontong's pretty good at that. Uh, he has his jump. Okay. Oh, I love that mix-up. Going low. And that's a KO oh, okay. punch. Shouldn't He's, kill, though, actually. Yeah. The percent was actually a little too low, but only barely. Only yeah. By a couple, uh, only by, like, a couple percent, uh, percent there. Maybe, like, five. Green team has a stock lead. Ooh, there we go. Gets a double clap into the uh, into the forward air. Tries to mix him with another one, but the lasting hitbox is not lasting enough. But it's not oh, going to matter as wow. Ralphie catches him with that limit. Uh, That's a great combo from side Ralphie. B. Oh, right. Regis does it. All right, I don't know if they wanted that trade. That evened it up. I mean, that if they lose really... this game, Ralphie's going to regret that. <laughs> I think he definitely will. <laughs> he I mean, that was could have edgeguarded Ness a lot better than that. That was a very questionable decision by uh, Ralphie. But, I mean, hey, you got the stock. I yeah, mean, but, that, like, uh, I feel like he could have just... Like let go of um, let go of Legend Nair and then recovered and just repeated until Ness died and prayed that Dill was able to keep the Mac off of him. He probably didn't want to risk getting gimped because he had like he had just burned his limit killing Wanton, so he, he probably didn't want to risk uh, getting gimped there like yeah. if he misses the Nair. And All right, and this game's super even right now. Green team yeah. trying to look for the 3-0, but KO punch is online. That's. That's the make or break of any double set with Little Mac, ladies and gentlemen. When the KO punch is online, you gotta watch yourself around the oh. sky right now as he does whip it. Target. He's gonna back throw him into the back air from Ralphie. Not gonna be able to ping pong him anymore, though, but that's still good damage that they needed on oh. that Mac. And Head he hooks gonna Ralphie. Take it. Oh, oh my god, and Dill is left Dill's alone in a super again. Bad spot. Oh, but oh. that's not gonna do it for Stir because he still has his jump! Wait, what happened? Wait, what? Then they everyone the, lived! The, the, the perils, but that's just gonna take it. Jesus, that was such a. I, wow! <laughs> I don't know if he teched that, that off almost, of the stage right there. That was almost Diddy privilege with that but barrel. That's, that's going to do it for uh, Wanton and Stir wow. right there. I feel like we're probably going to be seeing a replay. Dude, of what I feel kind of bad. Wink, we're, wink. We're like Winky wink. Let's take a look at this. Uh, take a look at this again. I'm yeah. pretty sure this is when. Uh, Oh wait, no. Yeah. This is a little. Uh, this is when. Uh, yeah. Ralphie so got that was really good from Wanton to punish the whiff limit cross slash with uh, sweet spot up smash. Yeah, let's take a look at this again. Yeah, th we need to see this again. So, right. Sir gets stage bike, has a jump. He hits him with the barrels, and the, uh, oh, the barrels hit Wonton. How did, okay, wait. Dill was below the stage. Yeah, watch. Dill was below the stage and barrels, and then he ends up on the other side of the stage. I think that might have had, but, like, uh, I think that might have had something to do with Ness's upbeat. I think that's he, related to when you knock Diddy out of his barrels. He cannot get stage spiked in that, uh, when he's in that state. Oh. So, he just slid across oh, uh, okay. to it. So, like, you'll see here. Uh, the barrels went, went into Mac, and Diddy just slid his back against the stage and flew up past it. Wee. That wow. is what happened. You're right. That's crazy. Because I was wondering. Cause he was like, like, 